Hello and welcome to a new video from me. Today I'm going to show you how you can save some time in Eclipse with ABAP. When programming we often use the same code or templates. So I will show you how you can create so called templates and which variables you can use here. I will also sh show you how to use bookmarks in Eclipse and how to call up version management. So we click here on Window, Preferences and then we can search for the templates and we see here ABAP development and then ABAP templates double click and we see here predefined uh, templates for ABAP development and you can call these templates so if you go back in the editor you type the name of the template then press control space and then the code of the template will be inserted so that works yeah pretty nice you can insert here if or elf else expressions too and in you can see here the, uh, the templates tab with the predefined templates and if you don't see this this you can click here on the window uh, show view and then you can search here or you can double click here on templates which we see here so and now let's create a new template for this we click on the right side on this icon create new template then we see here the template editor we give the template a name so i want to create a command today i start with some stars and then i want to display the date the current date and the uh, current uh, name of the programmer so we have here different variables which we can use they we can call the variables with the dollar sign and then we can set here the date user and the cursor so how to insert this we can type in the name of the template then with control space or we can click here, double click on the template here in the templates tab. So we see here the date, developer name and the command. Now I want to change the date because I write it always uh, this way with the year, month and day. And for this we, okay, I had to, to add here the D column. And now let's add the template we see here the date developer name and the command and you can search here for different variables we see here for example the enclosing objects and so on then we can then we see here the name of my program the program name okay yeah next um, bookmarks it's a pretty nice feature I think so for example I scroll uh, I open a different program of mine then I scroll down here and let's say I want to bookmark this select statement because it's so important for this I click on the right mouse click on the code line line number then I can enter a bookmark name so I type here select statement important then I add this then we see another line is added here and if I'm if I in another program and I want to know oh I want to know the select statement then I can double click on this bookmark and the I, I jump directly to this bookmark to this code we can filter here it's pretty nice if you have big projects and much lines of code and you can delete bookmarks again so right mouse click delete okay it's a pretty nice feature and if you don't see it you can click here on a window show view other then search here for bookmarks double click and then you should see the tab but in the upper perspective you should default see these tabs next 
which tab we don't see is the history tab or version control double click then we have this history tab here and you can see here the the history of your object of your programs so i'm not on a development system so i only have one active revision here i am on my test system but you should see more versions if you are on your development systems and you can uh, see the last changes or you, you can undo changes and so on yeah all right everyone so that was a quick look at three powerful eclipse features for your ABAP development we saw ABAP templates those awesome reusable code snippets you can zap in with content assist to code way faster to avoid typos insert with control space we covered bookmarks your personal markers to instantly jump back to key spots in your code super handy in big projects and finally history the version control where you can see the last changes on the object these three Eclipse features significantly boost ABAP developer productivity within the ABAP development tools by acceleration coding, improving code quality and simplifying navigation. I hope you liked the video. If so, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. Write me something in the comments. I'm always happy to read from you. Take care and see you in the next video.